In the heart of Minneapolis, at the height of rush hour, the unthinkable happens. I knew I was in for a hell of a ride. The bridges don't just collapse. As one bridge tragically falls, a new innovative replacement rises to heal a city. A safer, cutting edge monument to those who fell. A bridge to the future. Minneapolis, Minnesota, August 1st, 2007. It was just a really laid back summer day. Had uh, jazz blaring in my car. Traffic backs up on the approach to the I-35W bridge across the Mississippi River. At 115 feet tall and 1,900 feet long, it's one of the workhorses of the interstate system. The bridge carries some 140,000 vehicles a day through the heart of the Minneapolis-St. Paul metropolitan area. It was just a nice day. It was a hot day. It was in the beginning of August. Garrett Ebling, recently engaged, drives home from a company picnic. I'm really feeling this high with the engagement the weekend before and you know, the special day. Mercedes Gordon has just been promoted and is planning to celebrate. I was actually going to the gym to do a quick workout stop by the liquor store, get a nice bottle of wine, celebrate my first day on the job, and go home and make a nice dinner for my fiance, Jake. So I thought, well, I'll take 35W South down to 94. You know, what's the difference? <laughs> All right, what's the difference? Sheila Bennett is crossing the bridge in the opposite direction. I heard this really loud noise, and it was bad. <laughs> I see the pavement in front of me start to wave and ripple like an ocean. The concrete road in front of me started breaking up. Then I crashed. Then 